All right, we've learned how to add and subtract and multiply and divide decimals. Now you knew they were coming, the word problems. At a bakery, Joan bought 742 worth of muffins, 1009 worth of donuts for a staff party, and a 69 cent cookie for herself. How much change did she receive from two $10 bills? This question has three parts, and I'll, get, I'll do the hardest part first. How much did she buy grand total here? She bought 742 worth of muffins, $10.09 worth of donuts, one cookie. We need a total for all that. You remember, when we're adding decimal numbers, the rule is thou shalt line up thy decimals. With money, we make that easy for you by always giving two decimal places as a reminder. So our total for that, 2 plus 9 is 11, 11 plus 9 is 20, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, 1 plus 7 is 8. Don't forget to put your decimal in the answer here. I did it as I passed over. It's actually not a bad idea to place that decimal before you even start adding, just so you don't forget. You'll get very strange answers if you forget your decimal. One in the most significant place. So. Her, her purchase totaled $18.20. She gave him two $10 bills. I'm not going to work that out. You know that's 20 bucks. You could multiply 2 by 10 if you wanted to, but it's a waste of space. And the question is, if she hands over $20, they take eighteen twenty off of it and give her back whatever's left, how much is going to be left? 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 2, oh, borrowing time. We can't borrow from here, so we borrow from the $10 column. Leave 9 bucks there, that becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. There's our decimal. Again, I seem to be in the habit of placing the decimal as I pass over it. I encourage you to actually put the decimal in first, just so you don't space out and forget it at the end of the question. 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 minus 1 is nothing. So her change is $1.80.